Welcome, this is Howard Clark from the Catamaran Company and today we're doing a walk around of a Maverick 420. This boat is called Perfect. It's an amazing specification on this boat. The original owners must have ticked every conceivable option. Uh, so this three cabin version has got a bowsprit with a code zero that you can just see. Uh, she's got the larger 40 horsepower engines, generator, AC, uh, extra refrigeration, extra freezer space, solar, two life rafts, a dive compressor, two water makers. I don't think there's anything that you could need to put on this boat. She is ready to go. She's just had brand new bottom paint. She's had the bottom clean back to bare gel coat. So it looks like the very first coat of paint. So if you're looking for a boat that is in excellent shape and ready to go, this might be the one for you. So it's a nice easy walk around the deck, there's plenty of space um, to make life easy if you have to go forward. Uh, four nice hatches there letting in lots of light down in the cabins, two of them actually turned uh, 90 degrees so if you're tied to the dock and the wind's not coming over the bow then uh, you can just open up those and it can scoop in air coming in uh, over the side. The trampolines are in great shape here. And uh, the jib has the uh, the umbrella edge uh, to keep that in nice condition too. The salon windows have got uh, shade clipped over them to keep as much of the sun out of there as possible. Two big storage hatches that we're going to stroll across as we cross to the other side. We're going to come back to those a little bit later and have a look and see what's inside. Nice sturdy bow seats, having that solid rail and handrail walking up to the bow seats is really nice. There's two nice sized hatches open there just in the salon roof, scooping air and feeding it through the boat. As well as the bow seats, there's uh, there's two aft seats, which is a nice feature just to uh, give you that great view along the deck as you're sailing along. Access down to the transom area is nice and easy. And as we pan round and take a look here at the cockpit, it's a nice bright area, plenty of cover from the sun. So very convenient steps heading up here onto the salon roof, nice and easy to pack the sail away. All the lines are neatly run back to the cockpit. And on each side there's convenient boxes here to, uh, to store all your extra line so that it's not trailing around on the deck and getting in the way. Good sized solar panels up here on the cockpit roof, a special frame has been made to extend them out over the back a little bit more which adds a little bit more shade and rummaging around in the sail bag. The sail looks in pretty good shape, I uh, couldn't see any stitching or threading that looked like it needed redoing so it looks like there's plenty of life left in the sail. Jumping down in the cockpit there's a nice bench seat along the back and that excellent little hammock area where you can sit just over the dinghy creates some extra space to lounge around whilst you're cruising along. Double bench seat at the helm and the other little aft seat. The nav equipment at the helm is all looking in really good shape. This is a brand new chart plotter, uh, but all the gauges and uh, everything at the helm uh, works properly. There's a little bit of flickering here, but uh, you don't see that when you're looking at the gauges. It's just uh, an effect that is created by the camera. There's an audio system with a uh, remote control just here at the helm as well.
and two winches and the electric winch button for one of them. So opening up the engine hatch and there is one of the Volvo 40 horsepower. So this was the uh, largest engine option that was offered and, uh, and so that was ticked as well. There is one of the water maker membranes. This is the bigger water maker. There's another one inside the boat in one of the lockers. So we'll show you that as well in a different video, but uh, it's all pretty clean and tidy in here. So swinging around just have a little look at the dinghy, the dinghy's got cover on to protect the tubes and the tubes are not that old, it's got transport wheels which is, makes life really easy if you need to drag it up onto the beach to secure it somewhere and uh, just underneath the hammock here is the two life rafts. There's some really large size stainless tube here creating the davits and also going up and over the cockpit roof, it's, uh, it's a pretty substantial construction. So let's take a look in this other engine compartment and uh, this one's obviously very similar but uh, this time we've got the water heater just tucked on the left hand side here. There's a convenient uh, arm here that this Weber grill sits on nicely. And this little cover here is a great feature to keep all your lines and fenders and things neat and tidy. It just folds away just like that. And hey presto, everything's hidden away. There's two good sized lockers here and this uh, one here has the screecher, it's where the cockpit enclosure and spare lines and ropes are stored and in the other one, look at that, you've got a dive compressor and, uh, and your L LPG tanks. And just in between these two lockers there's another locker that covers up and this is where you'll find the windlass and again look how nice and neat and clean everything is you wouldn't believe this boat was 2012. So this is a look at the full weather enclosure for Perfect it's a really good quality one everything zips up and is, uh, is nicely finished and uh, so that's a really nice feature and I mentioned a little bit about the hull being stripped back to bear and this is a picture of this this was December 2019 and this is the boat painted uh, ready to go back in it launched uh, 2nd of January 2020 So this is a little snapshot of our next video so if you want to see the inside walk around of perfect then make sure that you subscribe to this channel and, uh, and it'll be coming up shortly so if uh, this is not the boat for you then give me a call send me an email my details will be appearing at the end of the video um, but also if you've got a boat to sell then I'd like to talk to you about that as well so this is Howard Clark from the Catamaran Company in Grenada thanks for watching